Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today in the Halloween Cup and we're taking a look at a previous legend we can tell by the pose that they are using and they are running Shadow Tyranitar but before we begin this trainer does have a YouTube channel so the link will be in the description down below and Shadow Tyranitar are really 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 strong Pokemon with that Smackdown but at the same time it's really 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 frail so if it's hit with something that's super effective or even taking neutral damage it's taking a lot of it right. Uh, but let's just go ahead and dive right into these battles. We do see this body sim coming in from this Wileus and that will connect and Probably get a shield. You definitely want to flip switch here because you do not want the women dam on that Tyranitar, right? So we do see that shield and yeah, but it'll take switch. You'll love to see it. So um, Yeah, Tyranitar likely coming back in. It is going to be coming back in going for the Smackdown They do get it all the way down. Now you can bring in your own Tyranitar. Okay, very nice. And they're going to switch out into Gramble. Out comes Wormadam. Oh, this is a good matchup for the Wormadam because you are resisting the charms. But I'm kind of surprised they didn't bring in the Gramble against the Zwilius when they safe swap into Zwilius. Um, I guess I know, maybe it was a misclick. Maybe it was because they didn't want Golbat on the Wormadam. Either way, this Wormadam is going to go ahead and shield this Crunch. Uh, and we do see that defense drop, which is unfortunate. Going to be able to farm all the way down. Uh, they're going to be able to throw an attack with Tyranitar, which will KO, but I think a charm went through against your own Tyranitar, so hello are you? Oh my gosh, oh, barely, barely loses that one. Yeah, a charm from the Gramble went into the Tyranitar. Good game, unfortunately you're not able to win it. Let's move on. Women with them into Beedrill, they switch out into Crustal, so we're going to see a switch out into Tyranitar, Tyranitar with the super effective Smackdowns. And they'll be able to get off an attack. It next is a wood KO, as I mentioned. If it's super effective to Tyranitar, it's doing a lot. Um, and in comes, oh, a double Smackdown team. Okay, I've seen this in the past. Um, when the Halloween Cup originally became a thing, double Smackdown teams were really powerful. Um, I know somebody actually hit Legend with a double Smackdown team, but this was when the Halloween Cup first became a thing, so it was a while ago. Uh, but either, anyway, as well is going to go ahead and shield this Crunch. Uh, could have been Stone Edge, and now we're going to see a farm down. Beautiful farm down there. Uh, Beedrill is coming in. You do have the Wormadam. This is this is definitely a good game here. Uh, Zwilius is going to go ahead and go for this Body Sam. Might as well get off some damage, right? Uh, they do shield it up, getting off another one. And then maybe switching out after this uh, into the Wormadam. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. But yeah, going to bring in the Wormadam. They do get off a Drill Run, or at least I assume it's a Drill Run, but... Uh, it's not going to KO, and it is a drill run, not even close to KOing. Uh, by the way, you could also run an XL Wormadam. I don't know if this Wormadam is XL. Looking at the IVs, it doesn't look like it is. Uh, I don't have an XL one, um, but I don't know how XL it has to be. I just know it can be XL, so it could be a little bit tankier, I guess. Uh, but I, I haven't invested in one. I don't have a good one. I didn't even check what a good one is. Uh, so I just know it can be XL. <laughs> so uh, if you have an XL one, I guess it's going to be doing a little bit better. Uh, but anyway, we're going to see a Women Dam switch into the Women Dam from the opponent. And do, do we see, yeah, we see a switch out into Tyranitar. Of course, you are heavily resisting these confusion attacks because you double resist them, but you do have to shield the Iron Head or the Bug Buzz. And it's going to be a Bug Buzz, but you have to shield it. The defense drop, a little bit unfortunate. It doesn't matter because of, um, in terms of the confusion damage, that's not doing much. But I guess these bubbles are doing more. But still, I mean, you're going to be... They're still going to have to throw because you'll get off multiple smackdowns. Let's see if they... Oh, it's Stone Edges. They do shield that one. Uh, they might be able to farm down. Not before another one, though. So they're going to have to shield this if they want to go for that farm down. That bubble will KO, but... Oh, they actually let it go. Now Tyranitar survives. In comes Escavalier. Okay, so Zwilius and Tyranitar are both dog types. They do not like fighting moves, right? So kind of tough, kind of tough. Uh, but that is okay. We're probably going to see a shield here, actually. Yeah, we do see a shield. Um, and we're going to see this Bug Buzz come out. And so this Bug, uh, bug Buzz is going to pick up the shield. And now you can bring in the Zwilius and try to get to a Dark Pulse. The Body Slam is resisted. Actually going to go ahead and go for the Body Slam just to get off chip damage, I guess. Um, let's see how much it does. It is resisted. I mean, to be fair, like if you were going for the, the Dark Pulse, they would have made it to a move first. That's why you went for the Body Slam. So that made sense. Good play. Mega Horn will KO. Oh, I don't. I don't think women them can make it. I don't think we're now nah, women them can't make it. All right, GG's, GG's. But yeah, counter use it in the back. Like S Cavalier is definitely tough for the back line, right? As I mentioned earlier, uh, Tyranitar doesn't want to see that at all. But let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Women them into is Wileus. So not looking too good. The confusions are double resisted. Gonna go ahead and go into your own Wileus, and they're gonna switch out into Frost Slash. Okay, 
Um, this is not the worst matchup in the world, even though you are weak to ice, right? Um, they do shield that up because he's still doing a lot with Dragon Breath. Um, and can you make it to another attack? Yeah, able to make it to a Body Slam. That is huge. Body Slam is double resistance, so I don't think it KOs. They do shield. Okay, you get both shields. I would say that's worth it. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Gonna bring in the Wormadam. They're gonna go for a Shadow Ball, probably because they know Wormadam is hanging out here. Yeah, they go for the Shadow Ball. And they don't get off another one, which is huge. So now, uh, in comes Zwileas, but the thing is, you have Bug Buzz, so Bug Buzz is super effective and it should knock out as Zwileas. So that's really good. Here it comes, this should KO. I mean, you have a Tyranitar in the back. I don't know what the opponent could have, uh, but we'll find out. Uh, oh my gosh, it's Quillfish and the opponent actually just concedes it. And that is going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers. We are moving on. We have a Galvantula. Okay, so um, the back line is weak to lunge. So yeah, I mean, you could stay in here, right? This is not that bad. You just have to hope there's no like counter uses in the back, I guess. But they actually catch on Wormadam. I respect that. Good catch. But at least you know what it is so you can switch out into your own Tyranitar. And if you go for the Smackdown all the way down, you will have to shield... Um, yeah, going for the crunch. I think I think going for the crunch is the way to go. Um, so we're going to see the crunch right now, and they do shield that. And now you can shield and fun down. Uh, re really good play there. The only thing is we know the Galvantula has a lot of energy, so they're going to be able to go for a lunge immediately before you can really benefit from these smackdowns. No, they bring in Ariados. Wow, they bring in Ariados. Okay, interesting. Uh, definitely want to bring in the Galvantula just so you can go for that lunge. Um... I mean, I mean, look how much SmackDown did to Ariados. So yeah, lunge, super effective, absolutely able to KO. We're gonna see the Worm Dam. Out comes this Wileys. Wileys doesn't really like lunge. It could take one though. Um, so we're gonna see a shield anyway, and they're gonna be able to go for another one because they do have a lot of energy. But that's totally fine. It's Wileys could take it. Oh, not well, but it could take it. Able to Dragon Breath down and uh, yeah, able to get off this body slam. That should be a good game. And that should be a good game. Very well played to both trainers, as always, right? So, actually, never mind. It doesn't KO. They're a little bit healthier than I thought. Oh, my gosh. They're going for the farm down. They're not able to get it. Zwileus is able to get it first. So, that is a good game. Let's move on. Wimadam into Galvantula. Um, okay. Let's see how this goes. Uh, again, like, same matchup, right? Same lead. Let's see what happens. They're going to be able to throw an attack now. I don't think, oh, I was about to say, I don't think they launch. They actually do launch there. Um, but now we're going to see a bug buzz come out right now from this Wormadam. And this is going to get the shield. Okay, they do shield it up. Uh, they're going to be able to throw an attack. We're going to see a shield from the Wormadam. And it's going to be another lunge. So Discharge would have KO'd, so I understand that shield. But they have another attack. Ooh, they got quite a bit of energy. Just going to let this one go. Cross poison, so they don't have Discharge, actually. Uh, so Zwileys coming in, Zwileys able to farm down. Very nice. I like that snipe. Uh, so let's see what the opponent decides to bring in. Um, going to be... Ooh, Escavalier. We see another Esca Wow, all the Halloween Cup battles I've done, I haven't seen an Escavalier this season. But right now we've seen a couple of them already. Um, so we're going to see that body some No shield from the opponent. They're going to be able to go for an attack. Uh, we're going to see a shield from the Zwileys. Yes, we are. It's going to be a drill run. Tyranitar does not want to see that. Maybe if the S Cavaliers like, got 2 HP, the Tyranitar would be fine. But it's not at 2 HP. It needs to be in one... Oh, you know what? I think one Smackdown KOs. But no, you just bring in the Worm Dam, go for the attack. I like that play. So now you don't even have to take one counter damage. Um, and it's Worm Dam. The problem here... Is that, oh no, they, they don't make it to a move. Okay, I was going to say, if they make it to a Bug Buzz, that's going to KO the Tyranitar, but they actually don't make it. But that doesn't KO. So this will KO the Tyranitar, right? Iron Head, Iron Head, Bug Buzz, whatever. It's still going to KO. Is this going to be a tie? No, it's not. Literally hanging on with one HP and a Dream. I thought that was going to be a tie. GG's. Well played to both trainers. Let's go ahead and move on. We have a Sizzle. I've seen quite a few Sizzle, I'm not going to lie. Most of them in the lead as well. Um, so yeah, quite a few of those really strong Pokemon in the Halloween Cup. We're going to see an attack come in from the Shadow Scizor. Going to be an Ice Slash. Yep, there's an Ice Slash. Uh, and we do see uh, an attack come in. Uh, will the Scizor shield? Probably not. Oh, they do shield. I guess because they're real. I mean, you do resist the move, but I guess because they're like they're really frail, like 
even after the look how much the confusions did. I mean, it already got it into the yellow. Uh, so Night Slash going to be able to pick up the knockout, but you do take shield advantage there. Uh, so you're going to be able to Dragon Breath down, not before they get to an attack. If it's a Night Slash, who cares? But it might be more than a Night Slash, so we're going to see a shield. No, it's a Night Slash. A little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Oh, they get off another one. Okay. So this is definitely a Night Slash, so it is resisted. Um, yeah, not going to do much. Uh, so we do see that Fawn down. Uh, what is this? Dragalge. Dragalge is a great Pokemon for the Halloween Cup. It's amazing. We're going to see a Dark Pulse. Uh, we do see the Shield. And now we see the Geronitor. They're going to be able to get off an Aqua Tail. I'm sure this KOs. I mean, you got to shield this. Um, so you got to get to an attack before they get to another Aqua Tail. They might go for a catch. There's a catch. Onto Wormadam. Okay. So if you could farm down, come out with another attack. Oh, you can't. I one. Dude, no, I don't think you could fun down. You, you have to throw the attack. The, women, the thing is, the women then would have gotten to another attack. If you could fun down, you would have had the crunch for the Dragalge, but unfortunately not able to. However, the Dragalge is low. They do throw an attack. This is going to KO the Tyranitar. Um, can you win with... Yes, you can. Another, like, 2 HP in a dream there. Uh, okay, able to win that one. Very nicely done. Uh, moving on. Okay, this is not really that good. Gonna go ahead and switch into Zwilius. Um uh, Snow Mandibuzz, very interesting as well. Usually the Mandibuzz I see, they've all had um, Air Slash, at least the ones off battle. But this one has Snarl. We're going to see this Body Slam come out. Picking up the shield, so beautiful shield bait there. Uh, kind of like a safe shield bait because the Dark Pulse would KO and obviously they don't want their Frost to go down with that energy. Um, so we're gonna see another Body Slam. Let's see if the Frost Ash shields this. I think this is a good bait, but we'll see if they shield it. Uh, they do not, uh, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You can shield and fun down, uh, and that's what's going to happen. Um, so we're going to see the fun down coming out with energy, so we'll see what comes in. Uh, at least you have some energy here, right? Mandibuzz, I don't think in fun down it's going to be okay. It's a Needle Queen. Uh, so we're going to see this Body Slam. Maybe this Wileys can get to his second Body Slam. Um, this is actually great because Wormadam is going to be aligned to this Needle Queen, and then you're going to have the Smackdown Tyranita on that Mandibuzz. So this is beautiful. Uh, this is amazing. Um, even if it's Earth Power, it doesn't KO. So like, who cares? So like, with it is Earth Power, it doesn't even come close to KO. And uh, force them to throw. Yeah, they have to throw the attack and then switch out. I would say because the thing is like, so Dark Pulse. Okay, okay. Looks like he's staying in. Okay, going for the the Bug Buzz and then switching out, or maybe. We'll see. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Trying to get... To, oh, they, oh, yeah, switch it out. The defense drop as well. But, like, the Air Slash is resisted. The Foul Play Dark Pulse. They had Dark Pulse, but it's all resisted, right? So, GG's. Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. Wormadam into Wormadam. Um, okay, going to go ahead and switch into Zwilius right now. Uh, looks like they're staying in. Which I do understand because of the Bug Buzz, right? Uh, so, we're going to see this uh, Dark Pulse come out. And, plus, we don't know what, what they have in the back. Uh, Dark Pulse is going to do a good amount of damage. They're going to be able to throw an attack. Zwilius is going to go ahead and shield it. Um, and it's going to be an Iron Head, but still a good shield there. They're actually continuing to stay in. You just, you just throw Body Slam here. Yeah, just throw Body Slam before they get to another Iron Head. And this should KO. They might shield this. Uh, they do shield it. They want to get off another attack. And they're going to be able to. Um, Bug Buzz will KO, so going to go ahead and respect that and shield. And it is a Bug Buzz. Um, and they switch into Drapion. Okay, so now you can just, well, take this. Um, so the Aqua Tail and Crunch are resisted. It's going to be a Crunch. It doesn't really matter. It's resisted. Sludge Bomb is not resisted if they have it. But we're going to see Body Slam come out. Body Slam number one come out. And this is going to pick up the shield. Very nice. Going to go ahead and go for the next Body Slam. And this is going to connect because the opponent is out of shields now. Um... So because they threw Crunch, that, that might tell me they have Aqua Tail. If they have Aqua Tail, they throw it now. They, okay, they have Crunch. Maybe they hmm. uh, maybe they do have Sludge Bomb, but we're going to see a Confusion down. Not before being hit with another Crunch, but Wormadam can take it. Um, no, they, they actually do have Aqua Tail, so it is Aqua Tail. So it's a good, smart decision not to bring in that Tyranitar against that. Uh, Mana Buzz coming in. In comes Tyranitar. Out comes Wormadam. Wormadam goes down. The opponent will concede that game. And that is going to be a great game. Very well played to both trainers. We're moving on. Uh, Wormadam into Jellison. Interesting. The moves are all resisted besides Confusion. We do see a switch. Uh, they're going to bring in Skunk Tank. That's Skunk. Yeah, it's Skunk Tank. Okay. Uh, they're going to be able to throw an attack right now. 
and it's gonna be a crunch able to resist that very nice if they have flame though it's resisted as well so i mean at this point zwilius has two body slams so do they want to double shield no they're just gonna let it go uh very nice and Jealousy is coming in, but not before being hit well with the bait right now. This is a good bait because they definitely have to shield, right? They have to. They have to. They're not going to call that. But I don't know if you could make it. Oh my gosh, you're barely able to make it. So that was a fantastic bait. Well played there. Um, this is going to KO. Oh man, you love to see it. Drabion coming in. Tyranitar. No, uh, actually going to bring in the Worm of them. You still have the Tyranitar for, for later. I like that. Uh, you kind of want to you want to know if it has aqua tail um that's not going to tell you anything <laughs> who knows gonna go ahead and go for the bug buzz not before the drapion gets off an attack um and this is going to be a crunch that is okay so pick up the shield and then switch into shadow tyranitar because they probably shield yeah they do shield and now you have two shields so it doesn't matter what they have and the opponent will concede and that is gonna be a great game and a great video thank you so much for sharing your battle experience with us and i will see you all in the next one have a good day bye